Hey guys, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play adventure. This is Manhunt 2. The sequel to Manhunt. Um, so let's get started. See, when I hit enter here, there we go. Anyway, here's a menu. It's, it's like a lot of other menus in video games, as you can see here. And uh, let's, let's start a new game. Okay, that's okay. And let's let's adjust the uh, the brightness settings here. We don't want the shadows to be too dark. There we go. That looks good. And there's two difficulty settings in Manhunt too. Um, insane is basically not fun at all, and sane is bearable. So we're gonna stick with sane, and we're gonna make a new save file here for our let's play. And yes. Yes, we will save. Alright, and this part here is referring to a, uh, a carryover from the Wii version. Um, the PC lets you move your mouse in particular directions when you do the executions, but that's lame, so we're not going to be doing that. And uh, here's the opening cutscene. And uh, the rest of the game won't look like this at all, I promise, so just bear with it or skip ahead. Whatever. Get out of here? Uh, then come yeah, on. we want to get out of here. All right, let's let's get out. And uh, all right, so our very first stage, awakening. I'll scout ahead, Danny. Get your head straight and follow me. Head straight, follow you. Okay. That's it, Danny. Listen to me, and I'll get us out of here. Yeah, you don't really seem that trustworthy, stranger. Don't but... let these crazies spot you. Uh huh. Move into Danny, the shadow. Uh, they can't see you in the dark. What? what? I'm not your enemy. What? Doctor White? I'm sorry, lady. I don't remember any Doctor Whites. Okay. Um, I was writing on the wall here. A bunch of numbers. No clue what Dr. they mean. M, please. I need help. So anyway, uh, that weird guy who ran out of the cell ahead of us was talking about sneaking around these guys. It's it's part of the stealth aspect of this game, but honestly, it's more fun to let them see you, so let's do that. Oh, gross. You just spat on us. Jeez. Right huh. Well, I hope the next guy is uh, more friendly. Alright, so basically if uh, an enemy isn't looking at you, then they won't see you. That's a novel concept. Let's just say, let's just say hi. We don't sneak back. I'm gonna piss oh, on your corpse. gross! Oh man! If you make a noise, they'll hear you. And uh, huh? You know, he kind of looks like the schizophrenic from Arkham Asylum. If any of you guys played that. Ugh, well, he zipped up quick though. That's good. And uh, oh, gross! I don't think I'm gonna like talking to this guy. Oh, Jesus! Oh, gross! Okay, well, he sure is happy about that. At least, at least one of us is having fun. So anyway, Manhunt 2 is billed as a stealth How are we game. gonna survive this if you can't sneak past a couple of whack jobs? Huh? Ugh, that's kinda harsh. Anyway, 
It's a stealth horror game. No. Oh god, he's hanging himself. What? His mouth is stitched closed. That's that's gonna make things a little hard um, for eating. And, oh come on, Danny! Could, could you just let him down instead so of using him as a goddamn punching bag? Whew. Anyway, um, Manhunt 2 is uh, a stealth horror game, or at least it likes to pretend that it is. It's really more of a um, a mess, I guess you could say. And uh, what's up with this guy? Oh God. He's missing his head. Where did his head go? I, I don't. I don't understand. We might need that syringe. What? What syringe? This guy stands oh. between you and freedom. Uh -huh. I don't want to hurt anybody. If he sees you, he will kill you. Understand? Waste him. But he's and, a nurse. Uh, He'll help me. This is insane. Go on, try it. See how it feels to own a life. Ooh, owning a life. That sounds fun. Let's do that. Go on. Kill, kill. Oh, God. Oh, man, that was stone cold, Danny. Killed him. I feel sick. No, he's dead. Oh, gross. Ugh. Hospital food is disgusting. And that was their very first kill. So, let's, uh, let's take a look at this guy first, though, before I... What? Okay, so his stomach is torn open, but his face is melted off. How does that happen? Let's get the fuck out of here. This is creeping me out. So, that's the main thing in Manhunt. You sneak up on people and murder them violently. And, uh, well, that guy just got run over by a wheelchair. Oh, and he's... What? Gurgle, 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 indeed. Okay. Um, let's move on. So, uh, You have to take this psycho down, Danny. Uh, what? Oh, God, he just oh, appeared right no, in front I, of me. I, I can't. And he's apparently a mind. You don't have a choice. He's he's doing the wall thing. Okay, so here's the the fighting part of the game. It's basically taken from PlayStation 2 era Grand Theft Auto games, I guess. Um, in insane mode, enemies can actually stun lock you pretty easily. Him. So getting into a one-on-one -on -one fight with anyone is pretty dangerous. It's not quite as dangerous in sane mode, which is what we're playing, so... We need a weapon. Get a syringe from the supplies office. Yeah. Now stop telling me what to do, you fucking jerk. God. Go here, do this, do that, blah, blah, blah. So, uh... Huh. Alright, that door's locked. Okay. So, uh, over the right are delicious, yummy painkillers that'll heal us if we ever take damage. We haven't taken damage yet, of course. And, yeah, another syringe. So... Let's head on here. Huh. There's a blinking light next to that box. Hide in the shadows. Important. These guys are vicious, remember? Okay. So, kill number two. If that guy lives, we're dead. And like all stealth games, if you hit the wall, uh, enemies turn their back to you so you can kill them. Let's go for... level two. <laughs> So we kicked him in the he balls and them or you gave him a mystery injection on the neck. That was gross. Um, right, so second thing about Manhunt 1 and 2 is the longer you hold down the attack button, the nastier the attack gets. And what's this? A ballpoint pen? How the fuck am I supposed to defend myself with a ballpoint pen, huh? I don't know. Uh, whatever. I mean, we've got to work with what we got, right? And uh, let's let's... Oh, it says exit there, so we... What? I don't see oh, he just ran out of the fucking wall. Huh? Alright, so people are duking it out here. Really? So you like... Getting punched in the face by a crazy fat man. That's quite a job. This is why I love my job. And he's he's pretty excited about that, so let's leave him to that. And let's see what's over, what's the appeal, huh? Okay. Um, I don't think he's dead, folks. He's just unconscious. Daniel, and what? it's not safe up here. Who are you? Return to your room immediately. Resnick, escort Mr. Lamb. Oh God, uh, Resnick? No, you don't have to escort me, really. It's okay. It's okay. You don't you don't have to you don't have to escort me. I. 
Oh, huh. <laughs> the draw. Open this door. <laughs> oh Control. yeah. Ah, fuck it. Wait there, lamb. I'll find another way around. Oh shit. Well, we don't want to hang around for that guy. There's no telling what he's gonna do to us. And oh, this one's discolored here. You can tell it's. Here we go. What's in here? Oh, um, well, that's a shard of glass. But you know, actually, I'm kind of curious of what this ballpoint pen's gonna do. What's what's Danny gonna do with this pen? What? Oh, piece of fucking junk. All right. Okay, here's the blink and light button. Blink and light buttons never let me down so far. And is it broken too? Is it? Oh no! Here, here it comes. Here it comes. All right. I'm gonna get out of this hellhole. Let's get out of here. Let's push the other blinking button here. And leave all this craziness behind us. Uh, so we can look at our objectives if we hit exit. Escape, I mean. And find our way out of the building. And press hold. Press left. Hey, it looks like we're winning. Wait, the green shirts are winning. And oh, well, it looks like on this floor the orderlies are winning. Bastards. Yeah. A long smear of blood. Oh, gross. I got cut in half. That's something, huh? Hmm. Yep. Just another day in the. Uh, crazy house. So, if, is this door gonna. Okay, there we go. I was getting a little worried there for a second. There's another fist fight going on over here. Let's, let's take a look. There's lots of stuff going on in the stage. I guess it's a nice opening stage. You know. This game really is mediocre, but there are a lot of little funny little things you can uh, you can look at, and like this guy down here. If you notice, this guy actually looks like the guy who's trying to lead us out of here. Um, I'm not sure if it's really him or not. I mean, maybe the developers just forgot that. Uh, I don't know. Okay, well those guys are gone, so I guess the show's over. Might as well move on. Keep out, huh? Well, we can't do that. Fall the... Okay. So we can't take cover in the shitty game, and it's gonna be important later when we get guns. Hey, Mendez! Mm. You down there? Mendez? Mendez! Okay. I take it slowly if I run. Oh, don't tell me what to do. I'll run if I want. So, I guess that guy wasn't so lucky. Hopefully, hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll make it past this guy in one piece. Uh, all I have to do is wait for him to turn around, and then... We're gonna see what what Danny can do with his fucking pen. I don't know. You know, I don't really know. Can you really kill a man with a pen? Well, let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna charge up my attack to the level three, the most violent of them all. Hiya! Oh God! What? Oh shit! Oh Jesus! Oh oh my God! Danny, I didn't know you could do. I didn't know you could do that with a pen. Holy shit! Whew. And, well, that guy didn't fare too well, did he? You know, I actually turned up the graphics. I didn't know you could do that until I uh, started looking around in the settings menu just a few minutes ago. <laughs> and it looks considerably nicer. I mean, it still looks like a crappy PS2 game from 2007, but still. You're gonna have to take a beating for this one. Oh, come on, guys. He's just scared. You know, he's confused. Oh, oh come on. G guys, come on, come on. I, I think he's had enough, alright? Oh, really? High five. Oh, oh, a hammer. Cool. I don't know what a sledgehammer is doing in a hospital, but hey. I'll take it. Anyway, the sledgehammer is a very good weapon for one-on-one -on -one fighting. If you got a sledgehammer, it really doesn't matter if you seek up on someone or not. And, oh, he just ran off He just ran off the balcony. I hope he's okay. So anyway, like I was saying, the hammer is very lethal. Even if you're not sneaking up on someone, because it's a fucking hammer. Let's, I'm going to show you what I mean. Move oh, three it, Danny, hits, move he's it. already on the ground. And now he is dead. They didn't stand a chance. To, oh, another syringe. Good. And painkillers. Of course, we didn't need that. And, uh... Let's head on down here. Where am I going? No, don't go down. No, okay. Alright, let's head on down here. Oh, it looks like that guy didn't make it. That's a shame. And... Uh, oh, it looks like this door's locked. 
What's that about? Lights, locked door. It's gotta be something. Oh, hey, uh, buddy, uh, you, you okay? You okay there? Oh, look, so your hand's cut off. You're chopped up. That's gross. Alright, um, let's just, let's leave him the rest. Let's close that door and... Oh. Oh, I see. So, maybe we have to close all the doors in order to get that door to open up, huh? Well, let's just check to see what's in here first. Oh, nothing there. Just a shit stain. And what's in here? Hey, let's let's test out this hammer. Let's see what this hammer can do. Oh, well, not very creative, but very effective. I approve. So let's uh, close this door too. There we go. And uh, hey, it opened up. That means we can progress, but first, let's check to see what's in this place here. Oh, just a naked guy shivering and in fear. We'll just leave him alone. I'm not a complete monster after all. More painkillers, don't need those. Um, alright. So, uh, hey, another victim. Let's test out the syringe again. And, uh, what? Oh, level two, huh? Oh, God. I have to admit, I didn't think you had it in you, but hey. Oh, well, we showed you. We have all sorts of stuff inside of us. And a ballpoint pen again. Okay. And another another hammer, huh? Huh. I wonder what they do with sledgehammers in this place. And, uh, let's test out another kill with the, the pen. See see what uh, level two looks him. like. Okay. Uh, oh! Oh! Surprise! Oh, God. I do like the level 2 kill with the pen. And, uh... Oh, you're, you're just bleeding all over the place, aren't you? What's in here, huh? What? Oh, seriously? Another fucking hammer. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here it's just explaining what I've already tried to explain, I hope, is that there are three levels of stealth kills in Manhunt. That's pretty much the appeal of this game. Violent killing. So, uh, let's try out the level 3 kill with a sledgehammer. Why not? And we gotta kill this guy really quick. I'll explain in a second. But he's pretty dangerous. Shut the fuck up. Gotcha. Alright, like I was saying, he's dangerous because one of his voice clips actually contains a spoiler for the plot of the game. And I don't want to ruin the plot of this game. I mean, it's just such a fantastic plot. Um, to ruin it would be a shame. So, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's get out of here. I think we can break out of this window here. Let's do that. And I'm gonna switch the syringe for a glass shard. Now, you're probably wondering, why do some of these weapons have the only one to get use? Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, the truck. Okay, whatever. Uh, some of these weapons, the green weapons it is, only have one use. And what's the point of that, you know? Well, Okay, and for some reason he's talking to himself about whacking off. That's nice. Um, in the first Manhunt, uh, one-use weapons were completely silent. And that was really important in Manhunt because if you performed a kill with a reusable weapon, uh, it would make sound. And if a hunter was One nearby, step at a time. Oh, oh God. That's, oh, Jesus. That's, that's brutal. Don't leave any witnesses. Hide the body in the shadows. Okay, so the game is going to force us to move bodies only two or three times in the entire game. That's because moving bodies in Manhunt 2 is completely pointless. But because it's masquerading as a stealth game, it's got to have moving bodies in it, right? I mean, that's what stealth sneakers do, right? They just hide bodies. Well, i got to finish off this last guy and hide him in the shadows, too. Well, let's, let's try the level three. That was a jumping kill, by the way. There are jumping executions in this game. Oh. Oh. Wow. Right in the balls. Alright, um, so we don't want anyone to know that we were here, I guess, with all the dead bodies and fire and melted faces, so I'm gonna hide him in the shadows here. There we go. Uh, we're almost done with this game, folks. Or this level, I mean. And, uh, huh. It's completely empty. There's absolutely no point for that. Another hammer, really. Okay. And, uh, alright, no coast is clear, so we're gonna go over here. And, uh... Okay, here's an interesting looking fellow right here. He's gonna jump in his blocky garbage truck and we're gonna go in the back. 
There we go. Level complete. That's been Manhunt 2. So there's a style point system in this game. Uh, I don't really know how it works. I think it's based off how many executions you get or something. I don't know. All right, we're going to make a save here. I'm Nick Meister, this is Manhunt 2, and I'll see you next time.